I'm your host with the most local twenty three. You're joining me for Perfect Match Chapter Thirteen on track. After escaping Berlin in Alana's van, you and your friends ride a train to Moscow to meet her contact. You know, this leaker isn't a one-stop shop to getting our lives back. Here's is gonna retaliate. I agree, but you have my word that Axiom knows what she's doing. Yeah, the code name makes everything better. Cadence Energy, the Sons of Tech, and even Falcon Inc. She was involved in the collapse of those companies. Glasses. I mean Sloan. Tell me at least you have heard about this. Hmm? Sloan glances over at Alana, meets your eyes, and quickly looks away. Everything all right? Sorry, I was uh, distracted. Yeah, the sons of... The son of tech was all over the news, yeah. Their account statements were displayed on their website, revealing financial loopholes, proof of corrupt board members, and a massive gender-based wage gap. Like I said, this is not her first rodeo. I still have a bad feeling about this. D, you have a bad feeling about everything. Nadia and Hayden return from the dining car with wide smiles. We should at least try to enjoy tonight. Dinner will start in 20. <laughs> we better get ready. Uh, yeah. What a good idea. Return to your respective rooms to freshen up. Why do I feel like Sloane's up to something? It's your chance to change into a different outfit for dinner. It's dinner. Moving on. As much as you'd like me to spend diamonds on a soon-to-be-deceased bug, as you finish smoothing the creases of your clothes, you hear a knock on the door and you open it to see. Billy, hi. Sloane fixes her glasses and fumbles with the hem of her skirt. Hello, Sloane? You didn't down too much coffee again, did you? Are you okay? Yes, my heart rate is just accelerating. From emotion, not from pre-existing conditions. Uh, hey, I've got you. What's going on? Someone grabs a piece of paper from her pocket and folds it and starts reciting what she's written. Billy, my first encounter with you was in the form of stories. Aiden spoke of you with such admiration, so much so that I was determined to make sure you were real, that you would be good for her. But when I saw you across the room at Nadia's housewarming party, it was like my brain shut down completely. And it never does that. My brain function is average to above average. Sloan returns to her paper, hiding her face that's slowly turning pink. On our impromptu shopping trip for the opera, I was surprised to detect hints of jealousy. She points at her stomach. In here. What? I'm just gonna just move on. That it wouldn't be sitting next to you, uh, reciting the words of La Bohème, that you'd always be dressed up to impress someone else. But that someone else is my best friend, and I would never ever hurt Hayden, so I tried to ch keep my ch feelings in check. No matter what, though, you kept pulling me into your orbit as fast as NASA's Juno. That's metaphorical. Crossing country borders on a, a plane next to you. You make me feel like I can do anything, Billy. Your extra, extraordinary humor and sensitivity. How strong you are, how brave you are in, in face of everything that's happened. I... I like you. Wow, you're kind of pushing this scenario on us. I like you a lot. So, yeah. Bye! <laughs> I just expect her to go running down the hall and closing and hiding behind her door. No, wait, Sloane? You try to chase Sloane, but she disappears down the hallway. I was right. What just happened? Dude, don't ask me. And I am you, technically. 
After getting ready, everyone meets up in the dining car for the night's meal. Is everyone here? Good. Okay. Get ready to be amazed. She leans out of, of the door and waves to someone in the hallway. Check out who consented to a ten minute makeover from Nadia Park. Sloan enters the room nervously. She raises her hand to fix her glasses, but realizes she's not wearing any. She fiddles with a belt of her dress instead. Eh, pretty. Not bad. Damn, son. Your face is so different without glasses. Um, I'm gonna go stunning. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Thank you, but Nani's the one who picked out the dress. I wasn't talking about the dress. There's... Uh, dinner! Dinner! We're here for dinner! When is dinner? Sloan ducks her head, rushes away from you. Your friends stand around quietly, each lost in their own thought. Nadia nudges you in the side. You know, you could make tonight into a date for you and someone special. Nadia gives you a gentle nudge and a wink. Uh, knowing what we're facing tomorrow, you might not get a many more opportunities. Whoever you choose at the date tonight will know that you're romantically interested in them. While you can be in an open relationship with more than one love interest, the person you choose here will be your only date for this evening's dinner and festivities. Well, there's Damien, my longtime friend. Sloan, who confessed her feelings earlier. And Hayden, my perfect match. Oh my god, it's not a diamond choice. Egad Zooks. So, one, okay, I'm gonna be honest about this. Pushing Sloan on us all of a sudden out of nowhere. Kind of weird, actually. I've never had that happen to me, where someone's like all of a sudden confessed their feelings to me and it's not been kind of mutual. Where it's just like, I'm really in love with you, John. I want you to help it. Bye. <laughs> like, what? Normally, I'm the person to be like that, and typically I don't tell someone and then go running. Um, Hayden, and then, of course, Damien, which, by the way, he looks pretty good. Um, of course. I mean, I'm sticking to who we've been after and, you know, tried to date and the whole nine years. Even though people are going to be like, but it's all right, Opa. I don't see it. Hayden smiles at you as you approach her. Would you do me the honor of being my date, Hayden Young? I never get tired of saying yes to you. Then, I'll just have to keep asking you out, won't I? Take a seat across from Hayden as the rest of the group settles down to eat. So, Nadia, have you scoped out the menu? Is there anything good here? Oh! There's plenty that looks good. As Nadia talks, Hayden listens to her politely with a straight face, but underneath the table, her feet play with yours in a flirtatious game of footsie. Hayden beams at you, her eyes shining, face radiant with happiness. I'm so glad you chose me. I'm glad you chose me, too. Hayden smirks, suddenly mischievous. By the way, I might have something special in store tonight, if you're up for it. What is it? You'll have to wait and see. Probably for diamonds, don't worry. Dipper sniffs around the one table, then dashes to the next, nose wiggling as she looks for stray crumbs. <laughs> Dipper, you act like we don't feed you. A waitress with a strong Russian accent approaches your group. Oh! Look at that, they're actually going to be more straightforward about that. Okay, hold on. Let's try this. What would you like to order? <laughs> <It's horrible. laughs> I'm more like this. It's easier like a male. So I try to turn a, f a, f a male into a female. Shut up. <laughs> oh, your group reads the menu. Most of you trying to strange new dishes for the first time. The waitress smiles and returns to the kitchen with your orders. So, um, is anyone else freaking out about tomorrow? Shady criminal types make me nervous. <sighs> what do I say? It sounds like just another Tuesday. We handled Nico's okay. I'm terrified. We handled Nico's okay. 
Eros chased you out of there with armed guards. And I was unconscious for most of it. We barely made it out of there. I was being optimistic, question! But we made it out. And that's what counts, right? Nadia slams her fist down on the table, rattling the silverware. That's it! New role! No more negativity tonight! I was being optimistic, woman! Shut up! Stressing about tomorrow isn't gonna help. So let's focus on what we're doing to... Going to do about bringing Eros down. Oh, sure. We'll just, uh, will ourselves to victory. While I'm at it, maybe I'll uh, wish very, very hard and a glass of Bacardi will appear before me. Waitress returns and sets a glass of Bacardi on the table in front of Davy. <laughs> Doesn't count. I ordered that. Visualizing positive outcomes is a well-researched psychological strategy. I use it a lot myself. I'll definitely be using it tomorrow. Hmm. It's actually a sound strategy, Damien. Don't underestimate how important competence can be. It's the only thing that got us out of Avignon alive. Remember? Thank you. Let's start with that. Elena, what's next after all this? Well, once this Eros mess is cleaned up, I can get back to my life. I was about to leave for a new assignment before you all dropped this into my lab. Oh, where were you headed? You realize most of my life is spent undercover, right? I literally can't tell you where I'm going. That's the entire point. Now that you mention it, we don't really know anything about you other than you and Damien used to work together and date. Well, I like red wine, expensive food, gardening too, but I never stay in one place long enough to keep anything alive. What else? What else do you want to know? Um, how about why'd you go into law enforcement? Are you dating anyone? What's your most embarrassing moment? Uh, why'd you go into law enforcement? In high school, some kids were selling pre-written research papers. My sister's boyfriend was part of it. Then he cheated on her. Ouch! So I posed as a customer online, arranged for a drop, then sent the principal there instead. Blew the whole thing wide open. And he didn't know you did it? Oh, he did. It caused some issues and landed me in the principal's office, but the guidance counselor pulled me aside and suggested a career in law enforcement. What problems would it get you? You literally tipped off the right... Just never mind. That was so stupid. No, that seriously is a stupid, stupid thing. You got me in trouble. Really? How? Your food arrives and the delicious smelling plates are placed before each of you. I'm not even going to try. Enjoy. Oh. Dipper sits patiently, her big pleading eye shifting from one person to the next, quietly begging for food. When no one gives her any, Dipper flops down at Hayden's feet with a huff. Oh. Anyway, Sloan's turn. Me? Um, I haven't really thought about it. You're so smart. You could probably do anything you wanted when we get back to the States. You could work for NASA for real. Build your own robots. Write video games. Work for NASA for real. I actually have a contact in NASA. You could get Sloan an interview. Uh, sure, if she does me a favor when she gets the job. I don't work for free. As for me, when we get back to New York, I'm going to continue pursuing art, of course. Although, going back to an empty apartment without Steve... Nadia. Nadia shakes her head. I said no negativity. Hayden, you go next. Well, even if my job as a travel photographer wasn't real, I can still pursue photography. Try out some seafood and... in... to... S Sakura? While watching the sunset. Go on a hot air balloon ride in... Kabadoshi, photographer's field day, that one. And something I can do from anywhere. No matter where I go next, I want to do it at your side, Billy. Lace your fingers together and lift her 
her hand to your lips for a kiss. What about you, Billy? What do you want to do after this? After we bring arrows down? So, you're trying to bring down a conglomerate of idiots who pretty much uh, are out for everyone's data, and among other things. Huh! Who does that feel like right now? Huh. Um... I want to relax. All the matters of being with those I care about, I'm going to keep traveling. Um... I want to relax. Me, a cold drink, and a beach. Or at least a nice comfy couch. I want to do exactly nothing for at least two weeks when I get home. Well, I could be up for that. Seems there's only one person left who hasn't gone. Putting aside the skepticism that we will even be successful in getting the best of heroes, how are we sure that we will that will be the end of it? We don't know how far this thing goes. Not he throws a grape at Damien's head. I said no negativity! Ignoring it won't make it, everything go away. There's too much we don't know. How many matches are there? What will happen to them if we bring Eros down? Other companies, hell, other countries are gonna want the technology. Damien. Alana, you agree with me, right? What do you think about all this? Alana takes a sip of her wine. I'm not going to indulge your bitterness when we are trying to relax. You know, if you won't enjoy yourself over dinner, Damien, we will have to uninvite you from the after party. What? The, the what? There's a recreation car with the bar and gambling. We're going to after dinner for festivities. It was Nadia's idea. Who knows what kind of trouble we could get up to there. But you can't come unless you behave. Will there be drinks at the party? It is a bar, Damien. Well, then, consider me Mr. Positive. We're gonna win in everything, and no harm will ever come to us. Yay! <laughs> that... That was creepy. Do not ever do that again. <laughs> not you, Dipper. Drinking and gambling are not for dogs. They are for those who... who opposable thumbs. But I will take you to my room. There are many things for you to sleep on. And chew on. As they leave, Alana leans over to you. I've been wondering, the dog, is she a robot too? Nope. She's an all-natural puppy dog. How do you know? How do you know? That's a good question. Got it. And Sloan? What? No. Oh. Just checking. Uh-huh. After dinner is done, the waitress leads your group to the entertainment car. I thought this was gonna be a diamond choice. Yay. Get your wallets ready, kids, because we're playing a hard tonight. Let's go with the one with the spinny wheel. Do you mean roulette? God damn it! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me track this for a second. Welcome. I'll also be your cubia for tonight. Will everyone in your group be playing? I know it sounds French. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The whole point of you guys watching is to have fun and enjoy the story. So you know what? Let's go. With it. Hell yes. I mean, yeah. Sorry, I got too excited. Wonderful. Each person will be given chips to play some every round. I don't know how a Russian woman sounds off the top of my head. Now if you want to, if you want to do something like this, come on! Cool! Get ready! Binge press! You study the rows of numbers as each of them are marked with red and black circles. You may bet on an even or odd specific numbers or a particular color, red or black. A winning bet would double your money, but guessing the winning number will get an even larger payout. Yeah, but it's astronomically possible to guess the exact number. It's all about luck. Basically, a higher probability for less money, or lower probability for way more money. Hayden rubs her hands together with a wide grin. I'm going numbers only. 
can go big or go home, right? I don't understand why going home is presented as a lesser option in that saying. I'm with Hayden. I'm feeling lucky tonight. It is a game of luck. So, best of luck to all of you. Receive a stack of green colored chips. The group places their bets. God damn it, son of a. Okay. <clears throat> I'm betting on seven. Black. Odd number. Well, lucky number seven. So, we're being optimistic. Our channel is going to get a million subscribers in the next year. It's going to get a million subscribers in the next year. Remember, they said think positive. <clears throat> ah, my lucky number. Mm, don't copy me, Nazario. The Coubriere spins the wheel. Come on, win for Mama. The ball lands on seven. Yes. I'll be damned. You name me and Alana receive 35 chips each. Nani and Hayden win back two. Place your next bet. Billy, why don't you choose for us? Really? Hayden nods and slides her hand around your wrist. Well, then I choose. 28. Everyone else chooses where to put their chips, the roulette spins and spins. The ball ends on. 28. Yes. No one else is getting suspicious right now about this. Hayden places her purple stack in front of you. Okay, what are we choosing next? We. What? I trust you. With my life and money. Hmm. That was a warm-up round. After playing a few more rounds... I'll go make us some drinks. Will they let you do that? Alana takes out a wad of cash and sets it in front of the waitress. She nods and calls it something to the bartender in Russian. They will now. To the lab we go. You Do you actually know how to make us drinks? Sure. It's just like chemistry, right? I mean, technically, yes. Alana strides confidently to the bar. She tried to make a Bloody Mary once, and somehow set out the smoke alarm. Thank you, Hayden. Thank you. I was trying to be optimistic tonight. Then I'll be right back. He joins Sloane, who has started to grab some soda, water, and a little fresh lime. Uh, mojito? Can't go wrong with that. Both of you grow quiet, Sloane purposely busies herself to avoid your eyes. So, about what you said earlier... She nearly drops everything she's holding, but catches it at the very last second. We don't have to talk about it now. Or ever, in fact. Sloane. I choose to be hate with Hayden. And no one else. But your friendship means so much to me, and I don't want to lose that. Oh. Oh. That's okay. I mean, somebody like you is, is bound to get, um, snapped up. I think you're amazing. I'm really glad you said what you said. I, um... I'm too. Actually, I don't think I've ever... If I... I would've if the last few weeks hadn't been so, uh... She gestures wildly with her hands. You two chuckle. Yeah. I'm in Europe for the first time in my life. I have friends who adore, and I spoke up for what, who I want. They're all things to be proud of. Sloan nods with content smile. I hope this won't make things uh, awkward between us. Not a chance. Still waiting for our drinks over here? We should start on those mojitos. I'll grab them in. After a few minutes, you and Sloan leave a concerned looking bartender to return to your friends. <laughs> it took you long enough. She means thank you. Nadia tries a sip of the drink and spits it back into the glass. It's, um, got a sour kick to it. And not much else. Larry Hayden, she immediately chugs the drink and her face scrunched up painfully. 
ready for seconds. No, you kiss her on the cheek and she grins sheepishly. All oh, this camaraderie is touching. Have you all known each other long? Billy's my cousin, so we've been acquainted since babyhood. And I've known the two of them for a few years. And then we met Sloane and Hayden a few weeks ago. It's actually a miracle that we work so well together. That sounds like cause enough for celebration. Then how about we grab us a bottle of rum, and we celebrate the Never Have I Ever. Oh, and Jesus Christ, this game. <sighs> Yes, to the rum, not to the veiled interrogation. What's never have I ever? No, no. Jesus Christ, have you people that never heard of Truth or Dare? Like, why, why is this game so goddamn, like, popular? Only in Pixel Barrier World is it this goddamn popular. That's it. Now we definitely have to. I've got some wild questions up my sleeve. Should I be concerned? Should we be concerned? I volunteer to be concerned for all of us. I'll take notes. Draft up an expose on anti-hero squad tonight. You included. It's the perfect opportunity to dig into everyone's secrets, from forbidden crushes to law-breaking and everything in between. Oh, thank God. It's a diamond choice. Suggest something else. Like truth or dare. Or never have I ever wanted to play that game ever. That's right. Are you like that? <laughs> yes! Whew, I came up with something original. Due to Pixelberry's odd originality of this game. Maybe next time. There's still plenty of things we haven't tried in this car. Song. Playing suddenly changes. Everyone turns to Hayden, who's standing in front of an old jukebox. Yes, Hayden! Nadia grabs Alana and Damien's hands to raise them from their seats. Oh, I don't dance. No excuses! I want you both participating in the capital P. What? Damien looks reluctantly to the beat, looking mortified. Alana sways to the rhythm after a few beats. This isn't so bad. Sloane dances beside you and shakes her shoulders loosely. This may or may not be the song I danced to during prom. Muscle memory never fails. I should do a sexy move, do the wave, boogie to the beat. Option four, I don't dance. So I'm just going to stand her and just face palm it all of you. Um, do a sexy move, why not? Sway your hands from side to side, seductively sashing into Hayden. I could get used to that. Hayden places her hands on your waist and grinds her hips against yours. After a few songs, everyone loses, losing themselves to the music. Laughter fuses the room with warmth, and for the first time since you left New York, you feel utterly safe. A slow tune suddenly swells, and Nadia shoots you a knowing smile. And that's our cue to leave, except you, Hayden. I know what you're doing. I should hope so. It'd kill the mood if I'd had to spell it out. Good night, Nadia. Nadia shoots you and Hayden a wink and ushers everyone out. You and Hayden fall into an easy step. Bodies press together, your eyes gaze deeply into each other's. Finally. That desperate for quality time? Always desperate for quality time when it comes to you. Hayden rests her cheek against yours and whispers, I hope you know how happy you make me. I adore you, Billy, in every sense of the word. Kiss Hayden. The older tie, kissing her with purpose. This what you had in mind? Among other things. Hayden kisses you again, her body lining up perfectly against yours. She holds your chin, thumb, tracing your bottom limb. Should we move this somewhere more private? Your room, perhaps? Are you going to clue me in on what you've planned? And smiles mischievously, brushing your cheek. It involves something I snagged from Impulse Safe House. Something cold to the touch. I'm definitely curious now. Perfect. Because I'm not ready to let you go. Don't worry! You may not be ready, but Pixelberry is with yet another diamond choice. So 
the night with Hayden in your suite, head to bed. I think I'm ready to call it a night. All right, I'll walk you back. Hayden interlaces her fingers with yours as you wander down with a quiet carriage. In front of your door, Hayden draws the back of your hand to her lips for a kiss. Sweet dreams, Billy. Good night. Hayden walks away, smiling over her shoulder before disappearing around the corner. Even as you get ready for bed, you can't shake the smile off your face. The next morning, your train reaches Moscow. You walk to a small public park from the station where Alana set up the meeting. So I said, You're the most bitter, sorry man I've ever met in my life. Feel free to exit my exhibition before I call security. And the bigot guest was never heard from again. Everyone laughs. But it quickly fades when you glance around and realize how deserted the park is. Welcome to Moscow. May we assist you? <sighs> Dipper curls around Hayden's leg tail on alert. What are here? A public park that's empty in the middle of the day. Damien, you're right. Something's off. This is just a more secluded part of town. Not many people live this far from the city center. Hayden takes your hand and tugs you closer to her. Stay close, Billy. Lana folds her arms across her chest and glances around. They'll arrive in no time. I don't trust you. If by them you mean the last people we want to see, then they're already here. All of you turn around and see Cecile, flanked by large numbers of Eros guards. Get them. You feel your arm yanked painfully to the right. Hold still, Billy. Alana brings you to your knees and locks her hands behind your back. I mean, I told you. I knew it. We trusted you. This is not personal, Billy. I did what I had to. You watch helplessly as the guards capture your friends one at a time. You glance around the perimeter for an escape route, but the whole park has been surrounded. Hold still, damn it! Aiden tries to break free. The sound of crackling electricity invades your senses. Don't hurt her, please! Cecile ignores Sloan coolly tips her chin at Naya. Gag this one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you better watch your back, you... <laughs> Beast Glove is stuffed into Nani's mouth and tied around her head. <laughs> Dipper barks wildly at the Eros guards, force her into a carrier and slam the door. Leave her alone. Damien is brought to the ground next to his cheek pressed against the pavement. Hey, Damien, wasn't part of the deal. The deal was changed, Miss Kusama. You feel a stabbing pain on your neck and your body grows heavy and steep. Your vision goes blurry before giving way to complete darkness. Mm. You know... When you make deals with tyrannical corporate CEOs and corporations in general, um, yeah, they typically will go ahead and change it up. <clears throat> Just saying. Um, with that being said, hope you all did enjoy the video. Feel free to like, comment, share, or subscribe. Head to the description below. Links to social media or Discord and a few links to support me and my content. So pretty much, um, long story short... Today is the 16th. I want you to think about this. In a one week, we have a massive, and today isn't even massive, in, in even, I'm trying to think of uh, the word. As an example, today uh, we have over almost 20 chapters to do with chapters, the app. Then we've done two for choices. So a total of almost, let's just round up and say 25. Next week, it's going to look, this today is going to look like baby steps. Um, pretty much if you guys did not watch the channel update video, there's a massive amount of content coming your way. 
We've got Detroit Becomes Human. We've got Overwatch, um, the brand new anniversary event. We have Heroes of the Storm, a brand new event there. We have Agony coming out. We have some other games that um, right now I'm rocking back and forth on the fence about, such as Vampire. Um, there's a lot of a lot of more games coming out. Um, I feel like I'm going to do a separate video here um, just to get a couple things off my chest and, uh, and to get some feedback from you folks and also um, some things that I'm rocking in my head right now. Um, just because I, I just feel like that's what I need to do. I don't feel like I'm going to do it at the end of the video. Um, I, I feel like I'm going to think on it while I do the rest of chapters today. Um, maybe even get some more coffee, even though I've had two cups already, because today's going to be a very long day. Like I said, a lot of content. Um, and without further ado, um, I thank you all for watching. You know what to do. And um, until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.